now we're going to look at mul multiple pump systems. What that means. When we talk about basics, we're not talking about this level of basics. If you're this mechanically declined instead of inclined, uh, then you probably wouldn't be here. But I think it's funny. Welcome to High Rise Plumbing Design from UCLA Extension University. I'm David DeBoard. So we have lecture B, 5B, multiple pumps. When we have more than one pump working together as a system, the resulting performance of the system will vary depending on how we connect the pumps together. Basically, we'll have series or parallel. It's important that we remember the difference between arranging the pumps in a parallel fashion and a series configuration. The main functions of the pumps that we are considering at this time are the output. And we're looking at parallel versus series. So the, the output is represented by both flow and head. Flow is the rate of water delivery, and we here are talking about GPM, gallons per minute. And head is the force that we have to overcome to get the water to its delivery point. And here we talk about feet of head. This can be represented in feet of head, but it could also be converted to pressure as pounds per square inch, or you could use metric equivalents. Parallel pump selection looks like this. We see the total system head, but half the flow is through one pump, and half the flow is through the other pump. We arrange the pumps in parallel. The flow is added, but the head or pressure stays the same. Look at the pump curves below. So here we have uh, each pump is the curve on the left, and we see it flows about half of the GPM of the total of the two. But the head is the same if you have two pumps in operation or one pump. So this is how the curves would look with two pumps operating in parallel. We have the, this shows the total system head and flow. The flow is multiplied, but the head is. With series, we have the total system flow. And if you look at it like this in this diagram, it's probably pretty obvious that you can't get more water out of the second pump than you had in the first pump, right? Or that would collapse the line and destroy the, the first pump, wouldn't it? So the pump coming out, the flow coming out of the pump at the right is the same flow on the left. So we have the total system flow, but we have half of the total head at each pump. So we add them together, we get the total head. We arrange pumps in series, the head is added, but the flow stays the same. So this could be represented in the pump curves here. We see with one pump in operation, we have so much flow and so much head. And then with two pumps in operation, we don't have any more GPM but we do have twice as much head, twice as much pressure. So total system head and flow requirements are shown here through the two pumps in series. One way to remember this, because people get confused all the time, so a lot of times I make, I try to find simple ways to help people remember these things that we always forget. And it's pretty simple. Just like what I did with the affinity laws, I turned it into a simple step-by-step -step operation to make it easy to remember. So here I made an acronym. And you can do this or you can do something else. It's up to you. But I, uh, I looked at series, you had head, 
and parallel you have flow series head pump flow so this is pretty silly but uh, you could say sheep have pretty faces or you could have uh, you could put any names and, and uh, words in there that you want and uh, interesting side note is sheep can remember faces and recall them when looking at photographs funny anyway uh, sheep have pretty faces for me that's uh, easy to remember you could put anything you want in there yes it's silly I know but hey sometimes silly is is good for remembering I like something silly but you might prefer something else you might want to be very serious very serious you can change it to whatever works for you been there if you look at um, so we have the, the heads gonna be the same I mean the the GPM is gonna be the same so if they were at what are the choices we have 150 150 GPM if we add the head of the two pumps at 150 GPM what do we get we get 60 and 120 that's 180 is that up here no um, what about this one 250 GPM what do we get we get uh, 20 feet of head from pump 2 and then when pump 1 comes on we get 80 so that gives us what that gives us 100 so 250 GPM at 100 feet ahead what about uh, 200 GPM okay if we look at 200 feet of GP 200 GPM we have 40 feet of head and a hundred feet of head so that's 140 feet ahead so it's not going to be B that gives us what at this point we've eliminated everything else so what remains must be the answer in this case we find that at 200 GPM pump 1 is producing 100 feet of head pump 2 is producing 40 feet of head that's the only one of the choices that works for these pumps so it would be C 200 GPM at 100 feet of head is is the best answer now that doesn't mean there aren't other combinations on there that would work but none of the choices that we had A B C or D fit the profiles except for C if you refer to the engineered plumbing design handbook volume 4 chapter 4 you can get more information and details on this. thank you and watch for the other information that I posted and the quiz